Guard's been taken care of outside. Your file never made the DAs, no cameras, no mics. They hire you? The Watchers? Yeah. They did? They do. Certainly do. Well, they can talk to me themselves. If they want me to play their game. Watchers don't mingle with hunters. That's the whole point. That's to hire guys like me. Handlers. I handled Ian Mitchell, actually. Your last target. Heard it was cold-blooded. That is awesome. Guy was kind of a douche, all right? And he treated me like a little bitch sometimes, so I'm glad he's dead. Thank you. But you let that little girl live. What was that about? She didn't hurt anybody. Yeah, dog, I know, but now your brother's dead, so, you know, just saying. And what would you have done, hmm? Me? Yeah, you. I don't have a brother. I have a sister. Two, actually. For them, I'd do anything. I'd even shoot a baby in the face and been saving one of them. Family first, right? I can't tell you how sorry I am. I'm gonna help you. Where are we going? To get you out of this. Ah! They won't let us. They're gonna have to. Josie Acosta. Ghost. What's going on? What? He's cute. That box is a death sentence. You'd be surprised what two and a half years of murder does to your insides. Leaves them all black and hollow. You are no ghost. You are a monster. Jacob has more determination in him than most of the other hunters. He's still a hero. He's still a man that was trying to do right. And that's what makes the show great, is the humanity, is the idea that we can put ourselves in that scenario and really connect with somebody and understand their choices and what would we do if we were in a similar scenario. The game has affected my character in a way that it's made her completely numb to taking a life. It just becomes like, this is what I have to do. Okay, I'm gonna get my hair done at three, go kill somebody at four, come back, pick up the kids from school, you know, whatever it is, it just becomes a job. Has changed. You have to murder three people in the next two days. Well, what's a few more bad dreams? If I can do this right, I can get her out. Jacob isn't the killer. You know, he's only doing it to save his brother. But when he looks into my eyes and hears me crying and sees me begging for my life, he can't kill a little kid. How do you trust these people who, you know, make people do such horrible, awful things? And what's really real? You start questioning what's real anymore and who's in on it and are we being watched right now? In season three, it's become real for him. Um, what was a play thing uh, and thinking that Jacob could do whatever and he had faith in his buddy and it wasn't real life having to see what Jacob had to go through I think that really actually affected Max oh, Back up! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, Just take whatever you want Move! Please, just, just stop, please Claire, what's going on? Please don't do this. Please, please stop. I'm here for her, not you. Move. Please, please don't do this. Please, you don't have to do this. Walk away. Why are you doing this? Please, just wait, please. I really don't want to hurt you. Get out of the way. I would say Alex is best friend would be his mother. Now, my sister, like any siblings, and it's no different in the show, we fight like dogs, you know? But in, in every scene, there's an underline of, I love you. They have survived through the toughest things in the world, having to kill people. Like, you know, that's the thing that's difficult, though, about Josie's character, Rose, is that sometimes I think Megan and Alex think that she enjoys doing it. Instead of her being mama bear and protecting, it's like she goes to the extreme. 
I, I think that's the thing that really freaks the kids out is because it's like, is it for us or is it because she enjoys it? Let me expire you. <laughs> <laughs> You're serious. I mean, look at you, you gotta, you're on oxygen. You're taking a bunch of synthetic stuff to keep your heart from stopping. What is this? You got Oxy. Christ, Carl. Do you have cancer or something? What kind? I didn't say I wouldn't shoot you. I just said I'd prefer not to. When Jacob got his first box, that was the first time we met him. Uh, we first met Ian right before he got his first box. But now we have a new character uh, in Josie, played by Rose McGowan, who's actually been a skilled hunter in the game for a couple of years. And so it's kind of cool to jump into the middle of that perspective and see somebody uh, who, who knows the stakes and knows the rules. It's a little bit even more devastating trying to see this family unit, this strange family unit that shouldn't be together, uh, try and survive and, 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 and have real emotion and basically have lives. There's a million stories to tell, but where do you go from there? What's, what's, what's the joker? What's the wild card that you're going to put in? And I think the idea of, of the black box, that there is a way out, it's a very, very walking through hell way out, but it's possible. Dude. What I tell you, she lives, you die. I didn't have a choice. There was always a choice. <laughs>